junction field effect transistor is the basis for understanding all MOSFET, CMOS. And in order to understand, uh, you know, JFET amplifiers, the analysis is based on the model, be it a low frequency model or high frequency model. So both the models have been highlighted here. This is your low frequency model, right? And the other one is your high frequency model, this one. Low frequency model is already discussed in one of the other lecture. So in low frequency model, the thing is very simple. How do we get it? The drain current, look at here. The drain current is divided into two parts. One is, what is voltage across here? VDS, look at this point and this point. VDS divided by RD is one current due to VDS and second, uh, and VDS and RD. Second is, there is a current source, GM VGS. And GM is transconductance parameter, RD is drain on resistance. So your ID is sum of VDS divided by RD plus GM VGS. There is nothing in the input side because we know that gate is always a reverse bias, so there is open circuit. So in low frequency, what happens that uh, uh, there are no capacitances present. But when we go to the high frequency model, look at here, there are three capacitances, CGD, look at, between gate and drain, CGS between gate and source, and there is one more which is CDS, that is drain and source. So how these inter-electrode capacitances appearing when we are in high frequency? The reason is very simple. If we know the, you know, the reactance of capacitance, we know that what is the expression? 2 pi Fc, where F is the frequency. So when frequency is very low, what will happen? This will be large. This particular value will be large. And then it can be replaced as open circuit. But at high frequency, See when frequency is higher, the impedances will not be large. That will be little lower value. So we cannot consider them as open circuit. And therefore, they are present CD, CGD, CGS, CGD, and CDS. You can also say that there may be resistances between gate and source, drain, uh, gate and uh, drain. But the, the values of uh, resistances between gate and source and gate and drain are very high in mega ohms. So they're almost, uh, you know, ignored because considered as open circuit. So this is a model you can see is a high frequency model. And what is the only change between low frequency model and high frequency is the three inter-electrode capacitances, capacitances are existing. So this is the final model. And these are the values I was talking about for JFET and MOSFET. This is the transconductance value for JFET and MOSFET drain on resistance then the capacitances look these capacitances are in picofarad and when you see cgs and cgd i was talking about c uh, sorry rgs and rgd then they are very high greater than you know mega ohm and they are ignored and that's almost equivalent to open circuit so this is a high frequency model which is very simple and when we analyze the common source and common drain amplifier in JFET, you have two amplifiers, common source and common drain. In the analysis, this uh, model helps a lot. Because what we do in the analysis of amplifier, we calculate input impedance, we calculate output impedance, voltage gain and current gain. So if you have voltage output, you know, see here, there is output voltage, there is input voltage. You can connect externally and you can find in input resistance, output resistance. You can also calculate the, the voltage gain and current gain. That we'll do separately in other lecture. The purpose of this lecture is to understand high frequency model, which is very simple. If you know about JF, JFET, where the main current is drain current, is contributed by VGS and small RD. So that is GM VGS plus VDS by RD. But in the low frequency model, only one change, three inter-electrode capacitances between these three electrodes appear because of high frequency. And due to high frequency, the impedance is low. It cannot be ignored. So this is so simple. There is nothing difficult, you know, to understand high frequency model of JFET. Hope it helps. Thank you.